The United States airstrike on Syria last Friday was followed by another similar attack by Israel on Sunday, February 28th, which launched missiles from the occupied Syrian Golan Heights. Damascus has denounced both attacks as representing U.S. and Zionist support for the terrorist groups that continue to operate in parts of the country in order to prevent their total defeat by Syrian forces. We have more details in this report. The Syrian government described the U.S. attack as cowardly and warned that it will have consequences that will increase tensions in the region. Contrary to the Pentagon's version that the airstrike hit pro-Iranian forces endangering American personnel in the region, Damascus condemned the military intervention in support of terrorist groups attacking the country and called on the United States to change its aggressive strategy toward Syria, which goes against international law and the Charter of the United Nations. Daesh has failed to fulfill the plans of the United States, which is the reason for this direct attack by the main sponsor of terrorism, and it targets several geopolitical objectives in the area, among which the main goal is to break the geographical connection between the members of the axis of resistance, Iraq, Syria, and Iran. In the same context, and two days after the U.S. bombing, the Israeli regime, under the same false excuse of attacking Iranian positions on Syrian soil, committed a new air strike against Damascus. The Syrian Arab Army's air defense system repelled the attack and shot down most of the enemy missiles that Damascus denounces as seeking to stop its victories against terrorism and its sponsors. These continuous attacks are aimed at encouraging the defeated terrorists and slowing down the advances of the Syrian Arab Army, especially since a large military operation is currently underway in the Syrian semi-desert area against the remnants of Daesh. So this aggression is closely linked to the recent U.S. attack since both seek the same objective of protecting the terrorists to keep the situation in the whole region tense. Meanwhile, in spite of the incessant U.S. and Zionist attacks and the continuous Western political and economic pressures against the country, the Syrian people remain steadfast in their support for their national army and its allies in their struggle for the liberation of Syrian soil and the entire region from both the terrorist groups and the foreign invading forces, led by the United States and the occupying Israeli troops.